Hello and welcome to Knit and Crochet with Jenna. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to knit this very pretty and easy shawl. It's a two rows repeat pattern and very friendly also for beginners. The length of my shawl is about 1 meter 35 and the height 62 centimeters. You can make it of course in any size you like. Let's see how to knit this really easy shawl. The yarn that I used is Cozy Wool Sport from Cartopu. 100 grams are 280 meters, 75% acrylic, 25% wool. They suggest hook size number 3.5 till 4.5 and needles 4 till 5. I used needles number six because I work very tight. I needed in total about one and a half skins of yarn inclusive with my fringes. This is what I have from the second skin. So you don't need so many yarn. Let's get started. I knitted my shawl with needles number six but for my example I'm going to use 3.5 so I start with three chain stitches I cast on three chain stitches on my needles drop one needle and I turn my work and here I start now with row one in this row I'm going to knit all the stitches and I make increases in this row now my increases are in the first chain and in the last chain but only in this row after them I make the increases in every second chain and every penultimate chain so second to my right and second to my left let's do the first increase I insert my needle knitwise into the first chain I grab the yarn and pull through the chain. I have now a new chain on my right needle. Keep all the stitches on the needles and insert the right needle into the same chain but this time from the back side. Grab the yarn, pull through the chain and this is now the second chain on the right needle. Drop the stitch from the left needle. Knit the next chain stitch normal and here is the last chain here we make again an increase so insert knit twice the right needle into the chain grab the yarn pull through this is the first new chain on the right needle keep the stitches on the needles and insert the right needle again into the same chain this time from the back side grab the yarn pull through and this is the second new chain. We have in total now five chain stitches. I turn my work and I start here with a second row. In this row we don't make increases. So I start now with my edge stitch. I bring the yarn in the front side of my work and I insert my right needle from the back side into the first chain and I slip this chain to my right needle. This is my edge stitch. The yarn is now in the back side of my work and I start with my pattern row. I insert my needle pearlwise into the next chain and I slip this chain to my right needle. The yarn is all the time in the back side knit the next chain and now alternately again slip the next chain to your right needle and knit the next chain this was row two i turn my work and i start again with row one and this time we have again increases bring the yarn to the front Insert the needle from the back side into the first chain and slip the chain to the right needle. I count this now as my first chain, so into the next, the second chain, I have to make my increase. 
I go knit twice into the second chain, I grab the yarn, pull through. This is my first chain from the increase and I keep all the chains on my needles. I insert now the right needle again into the same chain but this time from the back side. I grab the yarn, pull through and this is now my second chain from the increase. I drop the chain from the left needle, knit the next chain and here's the second chain to the left. So here I have to make again an increase. Insert the needle knit twice into the chain stitch, grab the yarn, pull through. Here is the first chain from this increase. Insert the needle into the same chain from the back side, grab the yarn, pull through. And here is the second chain from the increase. Drop now the chain from the left needle and knit the last chain. I turn my work and here now row two without increases. Bring the yarn to the front side. Insert the needle from the back side into the first chain and slip the chain to the right needle. This is the edge stitch. And now the pattern. The yarn is always in the back side of the work. So slip purlwise the next stitch to the right needle, knit one stitch. Again, slip one stitch, knit one stitch, slip one stitch, knit one stitch. And this is our pattern. Let's do it again together. I turn my row and I start now again with the row one, the row with the increases. Bring the yarn to the front and slip from the back side the edge stitch. So the first chain is always the edge stitch. And into the next chain we make our increases. It's very easy to remember the row with the increases because you see we have here always the slip stitch and so we know this row is the row with the increases. And I make now my increase. At first from the front side knit twice and now from the back side also knit twice. And I drop the stitch from my left needle. Continue now with knit stitches until the second chain to the left. Knit the next stitch, knit also the next stitch and here is the second chain to the left. Here I make again an increase. At first knit twice from the front side and now knit twice the same stitch from the back side. And I knit also my last stitch. This was row one. I turn my work and now row two. Bring the yarn to the front and slip the edge stitch to your right needle from the back side. And we start now with our pattern. Yarn is always in the back side of the work. So slip the next stitch to your right needle, knit one stitch. Again, slip one stitch, knit one stitch, slip one stitch, knit one stitch, slip one stitch and knit the last stitch. Let's do it one more time again together. You see, it's very, very easy. I turn my work and I start now again with row one. Bring the yarn to the front and slip the edge stitch to the right needle. I count this edge stitch again as my first chain. So the next chain is the second. Here I make my first increase. And this chain the increase. Knit twice from the front side and knit twice from the back side. Continue now with knit stitches. 
until you arrive the second stitch to your left. So this is the second stitch to your left. Here I make my increase again. At first from the front side and now from the back side knitwise. And I knit also the last chain stitch. Turn the work. Row 2. Here we don't have increases. Yarn is on the front side and I slip my edge stitch to my right needle. Yarn is on the back side and I continue with the pattern. Slip one stitch to the right needle, knit the next stitch. Slip one stitch, knit one stitch. Slip one stitch, knit one stitch. Slip one stitch, knit one stitch. Slip one stitch, and knit also the last stitch. One more time, I turn my work. And I start here again with row 1. I bring the yarn to the front and I slip my edge stitch. And don't forget, we count this as the first chain. So in the next chain, the second chain, we do the increase. This is the slip stitch from the last row. And here I make my increase. I continue now with knit stitches until the second chain to my left. I think you say pen ultimate, but I'm not sure. So here's the second chain to my left and here I make my next increase. And this is the way how the shawl grows up. And I knit also my last chain. So turn the work, let's do the second row again together, bring the yarn to the front and slip the edge stitch to the right needle. And now the yarn to the back side of the work and slip one stitch to your right needle, knit one stitch. Slip one stitch, knit one stitch. Repeat this till the end of the row. Slip one stitch knit one stitch, slip one stitch, knit one stitch, slip one stitch and knit the last stitch. And you repeat this now until you have the desired measure for your shawl. I continue to make a few rows and then I show you the next step. I did now a few rows and slowly, slowly you can see the pattern. This is the first row with the knit stitches and the increases and this is our front side. So when we have the desired measures in the very last row we have to bind off our stitches. And this is what I want to show you now. So as I told you this is the first row, the row with the knit stitches and the increases. And this here is the second row, the back side of our work. This is the row with the slip stitches and the knit stitches and no increases. So when I turn now my work again, I am in the front side and in the row with the knit stitches and the increases and here I bind off my chain stitches. So one way is knit the first two chains one and the second Insert now your left needle into the first chain from the right needle and bring this chain stitch over the second one. And this was our first increase. So knit the next chain. We have again two chain stitches on the right needle. Bring the left needle into the first chain and bring this chain over the second. And again, knit one chain, insert your left needle into the first chain from the right needle and bring this chain over the second one. Or another way is, when you knit your first chain, bring this chain back to your left needle and knit now 
two chains together from the back side. And this is another way to increase or to bind off your chains. So bring the chain from the right needle again back to your left needle and knit two stitches together from the back side. Again, bring the chain from the left needle from the right needle to the left needle and knit two stitches together from the back side. And continue now till the end of the row. When we are done with our shawl, we are going to add fringes and then it's complete. My fringes are about 28 centimeters but you can make them shorter or longer if you like. I'm going to use two threads every time together because I think it's enough for this pattern. If you want to use more threads of course you can do it. I turn my work now and here are my edge stitches. In every stitch is a small hole and in this hole I'm going to work the fringes. So I take now two threads. I fold it in half like this. I have my crochet hook and I start now with my fringes. So I go to my corner. I insert my hook into the first hole and under both threads. I grab now the yarn, the threads, and I pull them through the hole. And I pull. Now I have a long loop and I grab all the threads through this loop. And I pull and that's it. This is how we make the fringe. I take the next two threads and from now I'm going to skip the next two holes. So here I did my first fringe. I skip two holes and in every third hole I add the next fringes. So insert your hook now into the fourth hole and into the threads. Grab them, pull through the hole. There is now a long loop on the hook. Grab all the threads through this loop. Pull them and fix them. And you do this now all the way around. And when you are finished, you will have a very pretty shawl. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I say again, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and till next time. Thank you.